In this video, you're going to learn how you can lead the song Great Things by Phil Wickham with just you and an acoustic guitar. Coming up. Welcome to Advanced Worship Guitar Tutorials. My name is Spencer Cormany from LeadingWorshipWell.com, and in this video, we're taking a look at the song Great Things by Phil Wickham. If you haven't checked out the cover that I put out of this song yet, you can check that out right here. That's gonna show you the arrangement that you're gonna learn in this video. Also, if you see some advanced guitar chords, because this is an advanced guitar tutorial that you like in this video, then make sure to check out the link in the description below to 25 Advanced Guitar Chords. It's a PDF of some new chords that you can implement into your guitar playing to level up your guitar playing. Other than that though, let's get into it. Here we are in the intro of the song, and before we start, I just want to show you what I've done with my capo. We're on the second fret, but I've taken the capo and turned it backwards, and we're leaving this E string open right here. So that's an open E string. That's how your capo should look for the song, and then you can play the chords that I'm about to show you. So let me show you the chords, and then I'll show you the lead line at the beginning of the song. So here are the standard chords that we're going to play. We're going to play a D like this, and we're going to go to an E minor. Then we're going to go to this B minor to a G. So those are the chords that we're playing. Here's sort of the tab for the lead line that we're playing now. I didn't add all of the notes to every single like specific note for this lead line, but I just showed you the chord shape. So I'll kind of walk through them here. We're going to be rocking back and forth between this shape, those two shapes. So fourth fret of the D string and second fret of the D string. To an E minor, B minor. And hit that high third fret of the B string at the end. So hopefully that made sense. I'll play it in context. It sounds like this. All right, sorry for the little cut there, but uh, I'm just gonna point this out. Phil Wickham wrote like the same song twice. The song is exactly the same as This Is Amazing Grace with some small tweaks. So I got kind of confused there, but this is what the intro of the song sounds like. Here's the tab for it. It looks like this. So that's the intro, let's move into verse number one. Here we are in verse number one, and we're gonna be playing a D chord like this, and then we're gonna add our pinky on the fourth fret of the D string. So it's still a D chord, we're just adding a little bit of flavor there. And then we're going to a G chord like this, and we're gonna be adding on the second fret of the D string in there. You can really add that on wherever you want whenever you're playing the G chord. You could be like, Maybe don't go that crazy, but you get the idea. Then we're gonna play that again and end the verse with a B minor like this to an A. So this is what verse number one sounds like all together. Come let us worship our King. Come let us bow at His feet. He has done great things. what our Savior has done. See how his love overcomes. He has done great things. He has done great things. Into chorus number one. Here we are in the chorus of the song, and we're gonna back things off here for chorus number one. Things kind of drop out, so we're gonna be playing these chords. We're playing a D like this. And we're just gonna be focusing, we're gonna hit the whole chord and then kind of focus on the top half of it. Then we're going to a B minor. You can throw this D over F sharp in here if you want as a passing chord. To a G. So those are the chords that we're going to use in chorus number one. All together, it sounds like this. Oh, hero of heaven, you conquer the grave. You free every captive and break every chain. Oh, God, you have done great things. We dance in 
your freedom awaken a light Oh Jesus, our Savior, your name lifted high Oh God, you have done great things into the intro, which we already learned. So let's move into verse number two. Here we are in verse number two, and we're playing the same chords that we played before. We're just gonna switch up this D chord a little bit. So in verse number one, we played it like this and added our pinky there. This time we're gonna be focusing on these harmonics. So that's what the chord shape looks like. We're gonna be kind of like rocking back and forth between those, so it'll be like. So you'll hear that in context of the song. And then we're playing this G chord just like we did in verse number one and adding the second fret of the D string. We're gonna end verse number two with this B minor to an A. So all together, verse number two sounds like this. You've been faithful through every storm. You'll be faithful forevermore. You have done great things. And I know you will do it again. For your promise is yes and amen. You will do great things. God, you do great things. Oh. Into chorus number two. Here we are in the second chorus, and these are the chords that we're gonna be using. We're opening things up a little bit more, so we're gonna play a D like this. Add our middle finger on the seventh fret of the E string to get the B minor. You can throw this D over F sharp in as a passing chord, and then we're gonna play a G. So that's chorus number two. What sounds like this. Oh hero of heaven, you conquered the grave You free every captive and break every chain Oh God, you have done great things We dance in your freedom, awake and alive Oh Jesus, our Savior, your name lifted high Oh God, you have done great things into the bridge. Here we are in the bridge and we just landed on this D and we're kind of going to rock that for a little bit before we thin things out with these chords. So here are the chords that we're using in the bridge for the first half and then I'll show you the second half as well as we open things up. So let's look at the first half first. It looks like this. I'm going to play a G like that then we're kind of going to move that chord shape up two frets and take our pinky off to get our A to the B minor. We're gonna play an F sharp minor like this. Back to the G, to an A, if I can hit it, to a B minor, and then we're gonna do some hits on this D over F sharp. And then we're gonna open the chords up, play a G like this, to an A, to a B minor, F sharp minor, G, A, B minor, back to the A. So all together, the bridge sounds like this, coming from this D chord. Hallelujah, God, above it all. Hallelujah, God, unshakable. Hallelujah, you have done great things. Hallelujah, God, above it all. Hallelujah, God, unshakable. Hallelujah, you have done great things. You've done great things. Into the final chorus. Here we are in the final chorus, and for the first half, we're gonna thin things out and use these chords basically that we used back in chorus number one, and then we're gonna open the chords up again. So I won't show you all the chords because you already know all of them. So let's hear what the final chorus sounds like. It sounds like this. Oh hero of heaven, you conquer the grave. You free every captive and break every chain. Oh God, you have done great 
things We dancing your freedom awaken alive Oh Jesus, our Savior, your name lifted high Oh God, you have done great things God, you do great things into the outro. Here we are in the outro and it's exactly the same as the instrumental that we played at the very beginning of the song. There's just one thing in the second time that we play through it. We're gonna end with just hitting this open string on the E. So I'll put that here on the tab. You'll follow along. We kind of already know this part apart from just adding this. Also, there's like a little rhythmic difference in the end of the second half here. It's like instead of we're gonna go so pay attention to that, and altogether the outro sounds like this. So listen to that again if you need some more practice on it. It's kind of difficult, but you'll get it. And that's it. Congratulations, you just learned how to lead the song. This is amazing, great, I mean, great things by Phil Wickham with just you and an acoustic guitar. Hey, if you saw some chords that you liked in this advanced guitar tutorial, that's because they were advanced guitar chords. And if you wanna learn even more of those advanced guitar chords, there's a link down in the description below, down in the description below to 25 advanced guitar chords. So you can start implementing even more of these chords into your guitar playing. It's completely free. Sign up, click the link, I'll send it to you. And other than that, thanks so much for joining me today. Until I see you in the next video, keep leading worship well.